During the development of electronic products, it is often useful to be able to provide a signal to stimulate the device under test. And rather than having an external signal generator or function generator, the Picoscope 5000 has an inbuilt um, signal generator. It's a, a combination of a, an arbitrary waveform generator and a function generator. So the first thing we can do is to bring up the controls for the signal generator, turn the signal on, and if we just turn the scope on, we can see that the initial signal is a simple sine wave. I've got it set to 60 kilohertz with 700 millivolts amplitude and no offset. And there are some very, very simple controls in here that enable me to select as well as a sine wave, a square wave, triangular wave, a ramp, a sine x over x waveform. It's um, quite common in uh, testing of damped systems, a Gaussian waveform, and so on. There are some uh, interesting and useful waveforms that are contained within that um, little library there. So all of those are fine, but if we're trying to replicate a, a real-world signal, perhaps we want something that is more complex than something that is in the standard library. What we can do in that case is to use the arbitrary waveform generator. So I've got the, um, the editing tool there for the, for the ARB. So the first thing to do is to select the number of points that we'll be outputting data from, from the D to A converter. And then I can select, if I wish, from a number of standard waveforms, or I could, um, I could import data from a CSV file. So if I created a waveform using something like MATLAB or some other application, I could import that data from MATLAB. Or I could import data from one of the scope channels. So if I've captured a, a signal from the device under test, and I want to replay that um, waveform time and time again, then I can do so in that way. But what I'm going to do in this case is to create a, um, fr from the library, it creates, let's say, create seven, eight cycles of that particular waveform there. And then I can use the editing tool to modify them in some way. So we'll, we'll make one of those pulses a runt pulse. We'll do it the other way around on this one up here. Maybe put a little glitch in down here. And then we can apply that waveform. And immediately we can see what's being captured on the oscilloscope is the waveform that we described using the arbitrary waveform generator editor. So we've uh, very, very simply and quickly created a, a waveform to comprehensively uh, test the design that we're working on. Now the beauty of that is that you can then use that waveform generator to create a perfect input signal. It might replicate a missing sensor or something like that. But you can also do things like adding noise or adding jitter or, or stressing the waveform in some way so that, it's, um, so that you can ensure that your design copes properly with the, um, the application of an incorrect um, input signal.